Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? What's up? How are you today? I'm very good. Yeah? Good. Yeah, super nice trip. It's wonderful. I love it. Yeah. I'm not affiliated with the park, just so you know. Yeah. Would you like a water? I got ice water. Oh, yeah. Okay. I love the water. Just dump oh. my uh, bottle. There you go. There. Yeah. So what do you, you have, do you have a group of trail runners out there? Is that what I... No, no, no. I have a hobby where I chat with people for five minutes. Oh. We select a belief that you formed that you're sure is true. Yeah. And I ask questions to see how you could be so sure. Oh, okay. I talk to people about ghosts, voodoo, karma, a political issue. A lot of people pick God. They think a God is real. Mm -hmm. And I try to be very neutral on the topic. And yet I'll challenge you with questions. I'm not going to tell you what to think. I just ask, like, how could you be so sure that it's true? And what's the main reason? Hmm. It's pretty interesting. Interesting exercise. Hmm. Have you ever done anything like that before? Mm -mm. Never? Mm -mm. Mm. Oh, this water tastes so good. <laughs> I have more water in my car, but I'm sure it's about 90 degrees by now. Yeah. <sighs> I've run into people that are 80, 90 years old that have never been asked why they believe these things. And it sometimes gives people food for thought. Uh -huh. They start to wonder, like, why did I ever think that that thing is true? Hmm. You want to give it a little shot and do a five minute sure. chat? Okay. Are you... Five minutes to cool down. Yeah, okay. Are you okay if I record it? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Did you run this thing? Mm-hmm. You did. It's about five and a half. The whole outer, most of the outer loop. Mm. It's your first time here? Yeah, I'm from Austin, so. Oh, okay. Staying at the Cantera Resort. Oh, you're just visiting? Yeah. Just sightseeing? Yep. Very nice. Yeah, so my sister's doing a conference and and uh, Downtown. I just found a... No, she's right at Cantera. Mm. I didn't know they did conferences there. Mm -hmm. Super nice resort. Lots of conference mm. rooms, ballrooms. You know, yeah, that area is so nice. The mall is great. Have you been <coughs> in the mall yet? Have not. <coughs> okay. Yeah, I'm not much of a shopper. I hate shopping. I despise it. I'm all about just like online, buy something, have it I'm shipped. I'm an Amazon girl. Yes, same way. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so I don't want to hold you up for too long. Uh, let's talk about a belief that you're sure is true. Do you have any strong feelings on a particular belief and it motivates you to behave differently? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Which <laughs> one is it? Um, I believe in the spirits that are, the people who passed away are always with us. Mm. And so we never know if there's washing down on us right now and, you know, encouraging us or hoping that we make good choices and mm, mm. Or maybe do things differently than mm. how they did them. I don't think I got your name. I'm Anthony. Leslie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Sorry, I'm sweaty, so I don't... That's, that's okay. We can forgo the social custom. <laughs> Is it L-E-S-L-I-E? Yes. Okay. Spirits. Spirits, then, for me to understand exactly what you mean by a spirit, are you saying that there are entities that are observing us and then interacting with us? Yes. Hmm. You know, I met a lady here once who said that we saw a cardinal, mm -hmm. and she said that uh, whenever you see a cardinal, it's it's a sign that somebody from your past is visiting with you. I could Coming I would back. go with that. I see birds all the time, mm -hmm. and it's to me it's almost like they're looking at you in a way that they're trying to communicate with you in a way. And I've seen them sit like right there, and you know, and I might have my dog, and they don't leave, and. Hmm. I'm like, hmm, I wonder if that's Dave, you know, or hmm. Hmm. somebody just stopping to chat, you know. Can the spirits that you think might be visiting you, are they always deceased people? Could they be somebody that always lives in a different state? No, I think they're always deceased. Okay. How sure would you say that deceased individuals are coming to meet with you I mean I just it's a firm belief of mine I mean mm -hmm. I don't think I don't think everybody has an opportunity to do that or I don't think people mm -hmm. have any you know people make that choice whether they want to stick around or whether they want to pass on to their next realm and life and mm -hmm. or whether you know there's unfinished business that they want to you know communicate to loved ones or mm -hmm. you know maybe if it's somebody who really needs help in a situation, you know, maybe is going through something hard, then 
that spirit may spend more time with that person or mm, be, mm. be there for them. Okay. A person has a greater likelihood of encountering a spirit if they're going through a difficult time. Not necessarily, but okay. I feel like um, if they are, then, you know, a lot of people turn to God and, you know, like, oh, help me now. And it's, and it's not until they're actually in a difficult time that they, you know, turn to, you know, think needing help from something because they're stuck. Yeah. But, um, but I think you don't have to wait for that. I think you can, you know, like you could have your spirit with you all the time. It doesn't, mm. you don't have to be in a difficult state, but I think when people are there is when they summon them more. I gotcha. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Scale from zero to 100 that this belief is really true. 100%. There's no question in my mind. I have no doubt at all. 100%. Okay. So if a, we're talking here and a bird landed, mm -hmm. cardinal, let's say it's a cardinal, would you immediately think that it was a spirit? Or would you say, well, that's just a bird that landed? I wouldn't immediately think it's a spirit, but if, you know, it's kind of like that intuition when you feel like somebody's looking at you, you know, and you turn and you, they are, and, <laughs> you know, and, I've, and I feel like that sometimes mm. with, you know, an animal or a bird or with a bird that it's like, are you looking at me? You know, it's, it's okay. a, it's a connection you feel, but not necessarily every bird I see, you know, I don't think, oh, look at all the dead people flying around, you know. It's okay. So sometimes birds will land and you're like, well, that's just a bird that landed. And yeah. other times it lands and you get a feeling of a connection with it. And then, then you know 100% sure that it's a spirit talking to you? Yeah. I mean, not 100% and that's it. I believe that their spirit's 100%, but, but when you want it, you know, and you want to believe they're there, then that influences you like, yeah, I think that could be, mm. you know, I get what he's trying to say or. Okay. Okay. Is there any chance that this is a belief that you want to be true <coughs> and therefore you're calling it true, but it's really not true? Um, it's not necessarily, I just, not that I want it to be true. I just think it is. I mean, it's, I don't know if you can tell the difference in that, but it's not that I want it. I mean, it just is. You think the belief is true because an event will happen and then you feel a connection. Yes. Then you conclude that it's true. Yes. Okay. Is there any chance that you're misinterpreting this event and there really isn't a connection at all? Could be. I mean... I mean, you know, you want to believe that that's if you have that feeling that somebody's talking to you or trying to communicate something with you, mm -hmm. that they're there. But. Okay. Is it possible that every instance where you thought that there was a spirit communicating with you and that you were having a connection with it, that there really wasn't a connection and that it was just an animal just happened to land yeah. or something? I mean, that's possible, hmm. you know. How would your life be any different if you didn't attribute those encounters to a spirit and you just chalked it up and said, well, that was a nice pretty bird that just landed there. Yeah. Like, would, would your life be different in any way if you didn't have this belief? I think it would. I think I... How so? It just makes me feel like I have a stronger connection to people who have passed and if it's a cardinal that lands on a branch mm -hmm. that reminds me of that person mm -hmm. then it you know brings a smile to my face or mm -hmm. you know thinking of that person or okay uh, all right I think I understand what you're saying is that when you encounter an occurrence an animal is close to you it occurs to you that it could be the spirit communicating with you yeah you feel a connection and it's it's in a way it's a kind of a way of honoring the person that meant a lot to you yeah Feeling and you're, th like you're thinking you, about them right well yeah that it's a reminder that you know i think when people pass away we're all like 
oh, it's so sad. What am I going to do? How am I going to live without them? You know, and and I'm more of a person that's that they're always going to be with you even if they've passed it's it's mm. it's how you keep it's how you keep that spirit alive and so for me it's like that i see an animal and then it's a reminder because i spent a lot of time in the woods that uh that's my reminder like oh yeah they're there they're with me all the time on this trail run and they're protect me while i'm out there mm -hmm. last question perhaps can a person be reminded of loved ones that are deceased because they've encountered an animal or some sort of nature they encounter nature and can a person be reminded of an individual that's deceased and yet not attribute it to a spirit behind it do you hear all those birds chirping now yes what we're talking about them. the birds are chirping right now okay after we started this conversation they weren't when we started talking so you can be like oh that's a coincidence or i might say were those birds chirping if we go back and rewind the tape mm. would we hear those birds chirping or did they hear us talking about all the reminders we like to hear from these birds and now they're chirping is it a coincidence or would i say hey those birds hurt us you know mm -hmm. and people might be like you're so wacko you know but I'd be like, no, that's just mm. brings a smile to my face to think, mm. you know, that there's some kind of interaction with people who have passed away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there any way that we can tell that the birds started chirping because there were spirits listening to our conversation and wanting to communicate a message to us? Mm -hmm. Or they just started chirping? How can we tell the difference? No, we can't. It's how you want to interpret what just happened. And I interpret uh, it in a, in a happy way, mm -hmm. in a spirited way mm -hmm. that maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. But you know what? I'm going to think that that's a group of happy people that said, right on, lady, we're out here chirping for you. Right, right, right. So. Okay. Yeah. That was amazing. Do you want another one? No. Okay. I'll get too full. Can I ask you one more question? Yeah. Okay. Are you telling yourself this because you really think that it's true or because it gives you a good feeling for believing in it? It gives you a good feeling, mm -hmm. you know? It gives you a good feeling that there's, there's something out there and something beyond what we're doing, that this isn't all that's here. Mm -hmm. So... I really enjoyed chatting with you. Yeah. Here's my card. Thank you. That was cool, Leslie. Oh. What's your plan now for the rest of the day? I'm going to go sit by the pool. Nice. You've got <laughs> great weather for it. Yeah. I'm going to get my hike we'll on here soon. Lunch. Some yeah. Some my stomach's been grumbling. I hope it didn't get picked yeah. up. Oh. <laughs> All right. See you later. Okay. Bye-bye. If that conversation lasted a little longer, I would have asked her if she wanted to believe things that were true. This is very likely what Daniel Dennett would call belief in belief. Great talk.